Welcome to Island Exclusive. I'm Janil Bonter. With me is a very special guy, the man of our moment, Master Chef Willow Bennett. And you are the executive chef here at Picayo Restaurant. We are at the Condado Plaza Hotel in Condado San Juan. And it's a pleasure to be with you and dine with you tonight, Chef. Pleasure to have you. And great having you for dinner as well. Where did this passion for cuisine and art begin? Well, actually, the whole thing got started right around 1982. I, uh, I had just finished photography studies, or almost finished photography studies, and uh, uh, got uh, uh, disheartened with that. And uh, I think it was all planned, uh, part of a master plan, because uh, then I got to wash dishes. I gave way to uh, an interest in cooking, and then I came to Puerto Rico. I was actually an apprentice on an unpaid uh, uh, apprenticeship, uh, very traditional, and then went to school at the Culinary Institute of America. America in, uh, in New York, uh, remained in New York, worked in Boston, Chicago, and a series of other places uh, before returning back to Puerto Rico. When did it occur to you that Puerto Rico was the place you wanted to base your operations? Well, you know how sometimes, some, sometimes it's all destiny planning it out for you, and uh, essentially, you know, I did my time and um, did my bones in New York City and Chicago and all these uh, great cities where I, you know, mostly worked for the French, uh, and that's how I uh, did the development of my principal style. And, um, you know, it was um, a job in Puerto Rico to become the uh, chef to the governor of Puerto Rico for a couple of years that initially draw me back. And um, after that, it was history. I, um, after a two year stint over at the governor's mansion, um, with no real plans uh, prior to that of having my own restaurant, uh, we've, uh, my wife and I uh, founded Picayo Restaurant in 1990. Oh. So uh, now 23 years uh, in the making. My goodness, so you're happily married and Absolutely. you're still happily cooking. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> What's the secret to the success of Picayo? I think our focus on quality and service and, and a never ending a mission of looking for how can we improve our uh, ingredients, how can we access better ingredients, how can we have uh, better cooking uh, techniques, uh, how can we improve uh, the places where we're doing business. We've had four locations, all in pursuit of uh, uh, a place that we can uh, better, or, or a place where we can better serve our clients. So it's, it's mostly quality of service and quality of ingredients uh, and a lot of love. So here at the kitchen in Picayo, right in the middle of production, this happens to be one of those dishes uh, that we've tried to get off the menu in order to offer a greater variety on the fish, but we've not been able to because every time we do, everyone says that by popular demand it must come back. And I'll tell you what it is. It is actually uh, a big jumpy escabeche on the bottom, green beans, and this actually thick cut swordfish that has been uh, uh, seasoned with the adobo, the local adobos, and it did ha this is a sauce which is an emotion of white plantains. So you're gonna get salty, sweet, nicely seasoned, and, and, and all the sweet elements of the, uh, of the sauce to provide for a whole balance. I think Puerto Ricans like more sweet and salty than they are actually willing to admit uh, right off the bat. You know, we love ripe plantains, so this is one extension of that part. Where do you source your ingredients from? We source ingredients from all over the world, and I would love to say exclusively from Puerto Rico, and we do source uh, many things from Puerto Rico, but uh, we have stuff from all over. We have uh, meats from the States, Australia, uh, New Zealand. We have products from France, Europe, Italy, and you name it, you know, all sorts of parts of the United States. We import fish and seafood from Maine, Alaska, uh, and so on and so forth. So in the end, uh, you know, our sustainability uh, uh, it's more geared to uh, um, what things are the best products we can present to our principal market, which are uh, Puerto Ricans. And, uh, you know, obviously we have lots of visitors here as well. We have lots of corporate business, but, uh, you know, our principal focus is how can we serve better, uh, you know, our principal market, which is Puerto Rico. How has, uh, you know, bringing your cuisine and your flavor to some of the leaders and some of the top celebrities of the world influenced your style and your taste? 
Well, I got to tell you that, um, you know, as I have uh, worked for many years, you start learning that when you're serving all these dignitaries or, you know, tremendous personalities that uh, we've had the fortune to receive at the restaurant, among them uh, some incredible ones, you know, Mick Jagger, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, President Clinton, uh, and, and many others, you know. Uh, it is a time that unless that it has certain specifications, what you want to do there is not the time to become uh, uh, or, or to try new recipes. You know, that, that that is the time to do the true and tested ones that people have loved all along. And those are the things that uh, for someone who's never visited you, it's going to seem all new. OK, mm -hmm. so uh, doing those things is what gives you, you know, that sense of consistency and quality and, and strength. You know, you can feel when the recipe has been around. Uh, uh, for a long time, or at least when it's been liked a, a great deal. Mm, well, listen, you can feel it and you can taste it. When we come back, we're going to get inside the kitchen of Picayo with Chef Willow Bennett. Keep it right here. Up next on IX. This episode of Island Exclusive is brought to you by the Condado Insider. Visit condadoinsider.com.